Hi guys, this is Mia from Mimo Design Laser Files and today I'll show you how to assemble this phone holder by using it for the tutorial. So since I have this one assembled already, I wanted to share a little info about it. I made this as a personal project to hold my iPhone 13, but you can use it for smaller phones as well. If you want to resize it, you can do that as well, simply by adding a larger square and a frame. So this one is for the 13, but it also fits smaller iPhones. So this one is my iPhone 8. Once it's assembled, it's important that you place something heavy under a foot or you screw the foot down to the table. Otherwise, it will flip over. But once you place something heavy on top of it, it's stable. So I'll switch camera and do the tutorial. Okay, so my phone is now in place and it's time to show you how to assemble this one. When you cut it, it will come with a foot and also four stabilizers for it. It will come with the tower and it will come with the arm as well as a top frame and stabil stabilizers. Sorry, this one is for the arm, these are for the foot. Stabilizers for the arm as well. So what you want to do, this one is cut from 10 millimeter. Uh, plywood, poplar plywood, and I didn't clean it because this is for my own use anyway. So I will probably have some black residue. But what you want to do is place the holder in your feet, foot, and I want it to face this way so the ugly is behind it. And this is a little higher than the holder that's already attached to my phone, so I hope you can see it even though. Once it's assembled, you will see that it's wiggling, like a lot. Um, if you're, you have a great uh, curve, you might be able to make it really snug fit. Mine isn't. So that's why I added the stabilizers. So you want to glue one of them on the front and the other on the back. I'll just use Gorilla Super Glue so it will dry fast. So I'll take the front piece first. And I'll align it with the front. Hold it down until it's dry and I'll see if I can show you the back. So it's still wiggling, so what you want to do is keep it in position with two of your fingers, apply glue to the back stabilizer. and squeeze it in. So the tower doesn't move. So that's the tower. And right now it's standing on its own because I haven't attached the arm yet. But once the arm is attached, it will tilt if you don't place something heavy on top of it. My husband has these ugly <laughs> stone figurines and lucky for me he has two so I stole both of them because they fit perfect on top of this. But you could use a sandbag or a uh, exercise um, dumbbell I think they are called or anything. You don't need a lot of weight just a little. So for the arm you have this one and you want to glue the frame on top. So 
So just align it to the edge. And as I said, if you want to make this work for a, another size phone, you could just make a new square and weld it to this one and then make a frame. To make a frame, you take the same square and you just make a inward or outward offset. So the inner square will be the same size as your phone and this will be enough to, let me just see if I can grab my husband's phone. You want these squares to be enough so your camera can go through it. And you obviously want this to be a tiny bit smaller so your phone wouldn't fall down. So, but that's the frame. And these are the stabilizers. It might be a little difficult to show you how to attach those because I wanted to do it while it's standing. I obviously can't. Um, but the arm, you just push down to whatever slot you prefer. I always have mine in the upper one because I can always zoom in on my camera, but I can't necessarily zoom out. You can do that on the iPhone 13, which is pretty awesome because I can do this. And you now see a little more. I might even leave it here. And also you can zoom in pretty, pretty much like that. So I'll just leave it like this. So once you have your arm, and I said it's not standing, but you can see the wiggle, you also want to add the stabilizers to the arm. So you take one of them, and I do recommend that you do this while it's attached and your tower is standing. But I think this might be aligned. So you push one on the back side and push it uh, to the edge of the tower. Take one more. And again, place it on the arm itself while securing that it's in place and push it to the edge of your tower. So now mine, it does wiggle a little bit because I do recommend that you do this while it's standing, but I think it will be okay. So you can choose to add the stabilizers on top as well. I will do that, but I might wait until I have it flipped over. I could see, no, I can't do that because the tower I'm filming from is the same height as this one. Mm, let's just see. I might do it anyway. And if you don't have this way to tuck, you could take the arm off your tower and place it in one of the other slots if you need some uh, another distance. Okay, this is okay. So I'll just add the last one.
and even though I assembled this while it was laying flat, you can see it doesn't wiggle anymore. So that's it. Hopefully you'll be able to make a bunch of tutorials and as said, you want to play something heavy on it because if you don't, it will tilt. So something heavy on top and that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Make sure to subscribe and like my uh, content and also join my helping group Lace Up with Mima Design on Facebook where I share a bunch of tips and if you have any requests for other files just let me know. Bye!